Hello and welcome folks, Plasma here bringing you the second week of Universe Mode. Here at Raw, we're starting off with Roman Reigns versus Sheamus. This is uh, Sheamus from, uh, I believe it is the uh, the Christian DLC that came out. As you see them tie up in the middle of this match, Sheamus had to beat out a couple other Sheamuses to be the winner of that. To be the sole Sheamus to be part of this universe. He got a decent seed due to that situation. He's facing off against Roman Reigns here, who has had a pretty good uh, set of wins over the course here. Gotten fairly close to the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship, part of the uh, Beat the Clock Challenge, as he gets put up here with a huge power bomb to strike the Sheamus as he puts Roman Reigns down on the mat. Now we have one more March Madness uh, match later tonight. It's going to be between Chris Jericho and Triple H. Nice combination of moves by uh, Roman Reigns. They're actually kicking out the legs from underneath. Sheamus, Triple H, the CEO of the WWE, actually going to be pulling double duty here tonight as he has the second match on the card against Chris Jericho as part of the Match Madness Tournament. He'll also be facing off against CM Punk in our main event of the evening. Roman Reigns able to counter and push Sheamus away and now got him in the corner. He's got to push him hard against there. Nice combination to a uh, belly back suplex, sending Sheamus into that far corner. Nice counter by Sheamus to get up as these two men are likely going to go for big moves here. Looks like that big Samoan drop into that knee. Uh, Roman Reigns has gotten victories with this move previously. He might go for a pin here. No. Going to slam the head of Sheamus against that mat. He might try to prepare for a spear coming out of that attack as he's got a couple more strikes to the head of Sheamus. Nice big punches but a counter. He got that one scouted as he got a kick to the gut. Superman punch by Roman Reigns as he socks him right in the head. He goes for pin one, two, only two count as Sheamus able to kick out of that. Now will Roman have a spear left in him or will that be enough? Nice tilt the world slam coming out of the corner there from Sheamus. A lot of strength behind that. He's going to whip Roman Reigns into the opposite corner here. Both of these men try and get into that second round of the March Madness tournament. Now the first two members of Raw from there. Oh my, first we got, uh, it looks like the great white Sheamus with that driver sending Roman down to the mat. He's going to go for the pin here. It might be Sheamus for the win. One, two, only two count as these, both these guys have gotten their finishers off in this first match of the evening. Now he's going to go for that Celtic cross power bomb. No, another big power bomb on Sheamus. As now he picks up a very, very groggy uh, <laughs> Roman Reigns. He's going to put him up against the ropes. What's Sheamus looking to do here? He's going to do that series of punches that he does. He's got him set up, but he's actually going out to the outside. This is not normal Sheamus attitude. He's going to do a big DDT, sending Roman Reigns down onto that hard edge of the ring, set, setting that pace straight into there. And now slamming the head right back into that padded concrete. Sheamus with a mean streak right now, doing a lot of damage to uh, Roman Reigns. The referee at a big count right now as these two still fight on the outside of the ring. Big elbow and a series of strikes by, oh, nice counter there as the Sheamus now keeps the advantage back in his way as he brings himself back into the ring. We're actually at a seven count here as Roman slowly gets his way. That's an eight. As Roman will probably get into this ring just before that count out. Sheamus might have wanted to win by count out, but did not keep Roman Reigns outside incapacitated long enough. Nice scoop slam. Could be a setup for something here. He gets a couple of elbows in. The other guys that have passed through the March Madness tournament here, as you see a nice backbreaker there, are John Cena and Kane. Sheamus going for the pin here. One, two, three. Actually, Sheamus with that backbreaker wins the matchup. Here is your winner, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. 
absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this one tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his life. There's the bell. Here we have the second match of the evening. It is Chris Jericho and Triple H. These two guys have had many matches in the past against each other. And uh, big time matches as well. Having the undisputed WWE Championship handed off between the two of them. And I uh, believe a few occasions. is a head drag takedown from Chris Jericho here at the start. Reaching the head of uh, Triple H. Triple H no slouch though. Able to get that into a head scissors. And rinse the neck of Jericho himself. Now, of course, this is a March Madness matchup. And the winner... <coughs> Look at these two jockey for position. The winner of this match will be going on to face off against Sheamus, who won the opening matchup of the night. As we see that ramming knee ha hammering the head of Chris Jericho against the knee. Setting up for that pedigree of... Triple H. Now also targeting the leg of Jericho, weakening the strength that he can get from his walls of Jericho there. Triple H, the cerebral assassin, going to try and slow down the pace, perhaps in this matchup. Or he might be one to try and win this match handily, but he will not get that way with a counter from Chris Jericho and now an elbow to the face. Jericho now getting the advantage on his side to the CEO of the WWE. Triple H. Chris Jericho now attacking the back. Triple H able to counter and get a strike on the back. Triple H will also have an additional match here later tonight. As we see a nice move slamming the back of the head of Jericho against the map. Triple H will have to face off against CM Punk in the main event of tonight's event. As you see Chris Jericho taking up here. Nice counter there. Elbow to the face of Triple H. Headlock applied. Triple H actually faced off against the United States champion Alberto Del Rio last week and was able to get a victory over him. As we see a big spine buster by Triple H, that is usually his build up as we see a pin here. There's a two count, Chris Jericho kicking out just a little bit after the two count. But as we see Triple H set up, he might go for a pedigree. Actually, no, he's going to put him up against those ropes. We saw a apron DDT come in from uh, Sheamus earlier on. That helped him win his matchup against Roman Reigns. Will this be another one here? It looks like it is. As we see another DDT from Triple H. Slamming the head of Jericho against that mat. He's got a, now a big counter from Chris Jericho. As he seems to recover fairly quickly from that DDT. But he gave him a bit too much time. As Jericho gets counter here. And now the pace and the advantage switching back and forth between these opponents. Nice vertical suplex with a lot of height on that by uh, Chris Jericho. As we see the strikes against the lower stomach of Triple H. One of these guys will go on to the second round of March Madness. And be one step closer to that WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Pinned by Triple H. One, two... Three, not quite as he kicks out there. As you see a headlock applied actually going to just pick up Chris Jericho here. As he goes for a big lariat, sending him down. Knee to the face with all of his weight behind that. Rolling away is Triple H, weakening the face of Chris Jericho once again. The lead singer from nice punch there. Looked like it had a lot of strength on it. Another spine buster by Triple H. Looks like he's very tired, but can go for another pin here. One, two, three. Triple H wins the second matchup of the evening. Will he be able to win the main event as well? Here is your winner, the game, Triple H. Well, at least one superstar is happy that this one's over. You said it. The only good thing for him is that the beating stopped. Here we have the third match of the evening. It is Damian Sandow versus Ryback. Now these two are representing their tag teams in their current rivalry. We have Ryback's little uh, rivalry against Miz and Mizdow. You see a tie up here. The two of those two teams face off against each other in the first week of Raw. 
As you see a tie up here. A nice call, nice grab from behind a Ryback. Now, of course, uh, this type of tie, not one of Ryback's fortes, but he's able to get a nice arm drag takedown, bringing uh, Damian Sandow down onto the mat. Sandow able to roll out, though, and get out of that situation. Now going to uh, Irish whip uh, Ryback into the opposite corner with a lot of strength behind that, actually. So he gets a nice elbow into the lower back as he gets the advantage early going on here. Big strike from Ryback. This is going to whip around. Damien Sandow. Ryback has yet to face off against his uh, clone here on Raw. He has a secondary Ryback that we're unsure of who will be continuing to represent the Ryback name here on Raw. And Damien Sandow. Uh, one to try and be himself a clone almost of the Miz as he whips around Ryback in this corner. We had uh, one of the clones, uh, Sheamus, earlier on tonight win the opening matchup against uh, a nice move there. That was one of his signature moves there as he might go for a bigger move here as he gets a couple of strikes under Ryback. I almost thought he was going for a pin, but actually slamming the head against the mat is Damian Sandow. Yes, uh, Sheamus actually uh, won against Roman Reigns in the uh, opening match up there. As we see uh, Irish whip into the opposite corner here. Damian Sandow running nice spear in the corner, getting him down there as he does a nice throw, uh, boot to the throat there as we get a cutscene coming in. Uh oh look who's coming out here. Wait a second, I, I don't see him. Could this be a big distraction? If it is, it's definitely working. While the distractions paid off. I'm not sure who that was uh, supposed to be coming in. I think that was uh, the Curtis Axel music, maybe. But I don't have the music on as you see a couple of strikes there by Ryback. As Ryback got the distraction off of Sandow and now able to get the advantage back in his corner here as they tie up here once again. But Sandow with a big grab with a sit out powerbomb like maneuver. Going to drag Ryback in the middle of the mat. Ryback looks passed out here. we go for the pin here. No. Going to drag him around still. Centering right in the middle of the ring. Going for that uh, elbow right into the heart of uh, Ryback as he goes for the pin here. One, two. Only a two count. Actually, one of Damian Sandow's own moves has not used that in quite some time. As he does that um, uh, full Nelson slam. That is going to do another pin here on the right back. One, two, three. Able to get the win even with the distraction. Here is your winner, the self-professed intellectual savior of the masses, Damien Sandow. What an incredible match. That one could have gone either way. Nobody has anything to be ashamed of in this one. Oh no! Look out! As we see that attack on Randy Orton right as he comes down to the ring, Mark Henry attacking, taking this opportunity to bring himself an advantage in the early going of this matchup. Sending uh, Randy Orton right into the center of the ring. He grabs the head, neck of Randy Orton, actually able to do a nice power slam here. It seems like uh, with that attack, he already took out enough energy of Randy Orton to, to take out most of Orton's energy. The ref able to start the match once they both got in the ring here. That huge walking power slam by uh, by Mark Henry. He now seems to do a nice headbutt to the low back, just throwing Randy across the ring. Uh, world's strongest man with a lot of momentum here. But a big comeback maneuver coming in by Randy Orton. There's a couple of big clotheslines. Nice power slam by Orton and now a series of kicks from Orton one of his signatures maneuvers here as he weakens the face and several of the extremities of Mark Henry also targeting those lights as he goes for a quick pin here one two only a two count uh, just barely Orton actually coiling up right away for that RKO coming out of that pinfall maneuver as he goes for that RKO slamming Mark Henry down on the mat Will uh, Randy Orton show the speed of strength? Two, three. Just barely able to kick out is Mark Henry. Mark Henry's early attack did not seem to do enough damage 
as Randy Orton with a huge onslaught onto Mark Henry definitely turned the tide from the early going on of this matchup when Mark Henry attacked Randy Orton right on the backside as he got a nice European cup uppercut. Uh, Mark Henry able to whip him around. Big headbutt in the face. Now Mark Henry might be able to get an advantage here in this matchup. Big slam. Oh, that, that was just a huge feat of strength throwing Randy Orton so far across. As it looks like the Gorilla Press. Nice slam. As he puts him down on that. All of that 300 plus pounds on the weight of Randy Orton able to get the win. Physical match. Uh oh, look at that stare. Oh no! Come on, he won the match. Enough's enough. Oh no! Look out! It seems the trash talking from last week has come back to hurt CM Punk with that attack from Alberto Del Rio right at the start of this main event matchup. Now this will actually put them somewhat on equal footing as Triple H has already had a matchup earlier tonight against Chris Jericho. He was able to win that match. He's going on to the second round of the March Madness tournament. We'll be facing off against Sheamus as we see CM Punk with a nice attack able to actually get the uh, turnaround on Triple H fairly quickly. It seemed that attack on the steel steps didn't quite do enough damage. As you see a headlock applied now going to whip Triple H around the ring. We see it saw a huge onslaught of offense in the last matchup between Mark Henry and Randy Orton. Will we continue to see that with this matchup with a lot of high paced high impact maneuvers here. Even from the highly technical wrestler CM Punk as it seems like the brawler Triple H able to get out of there now whipping CM Punk against that ring post. He's going to turn Punk over and goes for a pin. Only one count. Almost sort of an insult that he thinks one of those hard Irish whips actually going to eliminate Punk here. As he goes to do a nice choke out on the ropes is Triple H as he sends him down on the mat. Going to pick up CM Punk once again. Nice spine buster. He applied two of those. To Chris Jericho to win the match earlier tonight and he looks like he's lining up for that pedigree right away here he grabs the head of CM Punk puts it between his legs puts that double arm up nice pedigree slap down in the middle of the mat as he goes to the pin one two three and that is a quick main event thanks to Alberto Dario Between these two seems to be escalating more by the day. Yeah, these two can't stand each other. The referee better just step aside if he doesn't want to get hurt. And now a whole army of security is coming out to break this up. Security? We may need the National Guard. 